What if I told you that I discovered the cure for cancer, or that I formulated a diet to increase my life expectancy by 50 years and maintain quality of life? I can personally understand the importance of finding a cure for cancer since I'm a cancer survivor. However, my personal history may make me susceptible to accepting bogus claims. So how can we verify the authenticity? The answer lies in scientific literacy. For me, curiosity drove me to take additional coursework in biology to make, broaden my scientific literacy. In doing so, I understand the importance of scientific literacy that enabled me to discern the validity of claims touting scientific discoveries. Today, I will dis define scientific literacy and explain its importance to society. Curiosity of how the world works is a uniquely human trait and is a large part of what defines scientific literacy. Punia, Turman, and other faculty members at the University of Malaysia define scientific literacy as a knowledge and understanding of the scientific concepts and processes required for the decision-making participation and cultural affairs and economic productivity. We want to know how our physical world works, but this doesn't uh, equate to a very scientifically literate society. A Michigan of a Michigan State University uh, poll concluded that only 28% of Americans are scientifically literate. This statistic suggests that most Americans aren't equal, aren't equal uh, to scientific knowledge and should uh, inform uh, public policy. Scientific literary Literacy isn't simply memorizing facts and figures. It is understanding scientific concepts such as the scientific method. The scientific method starts with an observation as an event or phenomenon, and then it goes to the um, understanding of, of observation. Uh, next, a hypothesis or educated guess about a, a, a scientific method is formulated. After this, experimentation occurs uh, to conform uh, uh, whether the hypothesis is true. Based on this uh, testing, a theory is devised uh, over many years. Note that the theory is confirmed. It takes many years to uh, confirm that this is uh, true. Uh, for instance, um, Galileo's uh, telescope had to confirm that um, his um, testing was correct over many uh, years, and it uh, took many years to uh, before that that people didn't have telescopes to confirm that this wasn't uh, the case. According to NASA, 97% of um, climate uh, scientists agree that climate change, well, as an, as an additional issue, uh, climate change isn't, is something that we can confirm with um, um, scientific literacy. According to NASA, 97% of uh, climate uh, scientists agree that uh, climate change is a result of human uh, activity. In other words, it, out of every 100 scientists, 97% of them believe that um, uh, climate change is a hot, is, um, is a debate. The fact that only 28% of Americans are scientific literate may confirm why this uh, subject is so highly debated. In conclusion, scientific literacy is helpful for people to make 
decisions to increasingly uh, scientifically advanced world, reviewing our scientifically um, re reviewing our initial uh, question concerning these, you know, scientifically um, fantastic questions, it becomes que clear uh, that scientific literacy can help people determine the validity of such claims by asking questions and making informed decisions about their lives.